Hi guys, hey, welcome back. My name is Bukumi Bikekra. Was witness pastor. In an address entitled My Way to Islam, he describes the circumstances leading to his decision to become Muslim. I have to speak to my brothers and sisters and talk to you about Islam from an American perspective, an American born in America, not Muslim, without Muslim parents. So sometimes I feel like I am not worthy and I don't deserve certainly to be in the same category as some of the fine brothers that I've had an opportunity to listen to this morning and this afternoon and certainly uh, later on today and throughout the convention. But I've learned one thing about Islam and that is that you do not argue with God. So I'll take whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses me with and I hope to do the best that I can. I. Uh, I have a very uh, kind of unique background in a way I, to kind of recap a little bit about uh, my experiences. I am originally from Texas, small West Texas town called Lubbock. And it's right it's in the center of the Bible Belt, kind of, very religious, lots of, lots of churches in the city. Being Hispanic, I speak uh, Spanish fluently, I was, uh, of course, baptized as a Catholic. I was raised as a Catholic, baptized as a Catholic, until the age of about six years old. When I turned six years old, my parents received a knock on the door, and there were some people standing there with the watchtower and the awake. And they started to speak with my grandfather, and after a while, he, they started to come back. Before long, they established a Bible, a home Bible study, and uh, before you knew it, we were all attending the, the Church of Jehovah's Witness. We were all attending the, the meetings in the congregation mm. there. When I first accepted Islam... To go as a Jehovah's Witness, before long I started gaining a very accurate knowledge of the Bible, which is kind of an irony because anyone that's familiar with the scriptures knows uh, of the, the book of the people, knows that, um, that in reality has been polluted so much throughout history. It has been contaminated and polluted so much. But, you know, I've always been of the kind that have felt that in its pure form, even with the Jews, the Torah was given to them. In its pure form, until it was moved around and polluted, it was from God. The Injil, the same thing. The Gospel, when it was given to, uh, to Jesus at the beginning, before the pollution, before the contamination, was good and sound. Well, my knowledge of the Bible started to grow. I began to study more and more. By the time I was 13 years of age, I was baptized as a Jehovah's Witness. And I had this fire, this ambition inside of me to want to do more of God's work. So by the time I applied myself, I applied myself. And then by the time I was 16 years of age, it was something very unusual that wasn't done. I began, I was approved and given their blessing and I started to speak to great crowds, big crowds of people. I started to give talks in their different uh, congregations. By the time I was 20 years of age, I had my own congregation that I had to pastor or take care of. So as you can see, I was very much entrenched into the teachings of Jehovah's Witnesses, especially knowing that they were different from the world. But see, the world looked at them Anytime, especially Western society, anytime you're different, they look at them as extremists, fanatics, fundamentalists. Sounds familiar, huh? Hmm. I realize now that it was all in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's planning for me. I, I, I didn't know it at that time. But what I wasn't aware then, that I am aware of now, is that when I was 120 days in the womb of my mother, the angels came and they had already planned where I was going to be, what I was going to do, and that I was going to be here on this day speaking to you, alhamdulillah. Hmm. Yeah. Time for them to live in peace and tranquility, the Quran. We need to read it ourselves and find out for ourselves what is the acceptable word of God and what is our purpose on this earth? In Islam there is no hierarchy. Uh, there is no priesthood. So a lot of consideration in prayer and a lot of heartache. I left. 1979 I left the religion and I, I didn't go back. Well then what happened is I could no longer go to any other religion. Because as a Jehovah's Witness, I was taught that all religions were bad, except Jehovah's Witness. Only Jehovah's Witness gained the approval of God. Everybody else is wrong. Mm. 
So you see, with a clear conscience, I could not go to other religions. And then as a Jehovah's Witness, I no longer believed in their teachings. So I was like a man without a religion. Fortunately, I was not a man without a God. Everybody's faith. And I've been a Jehovah's Witness all my life, so I'm going to go back to the Catholic Church. Maybe I missed something. Okay? So I went back to the Catholic Church for about three months, every day. Sit down, stand up. Sit down, stand up. Sit down, stand up. You know, I go to all of their masses. It wasn't working. It wasn't working because it didn't appeal here, and it didn't appeal here. You try the church and you try everything else, but uh, the person. And I noticed that person because of the personality, always happy, always bubbly, always friendly. This attracted me to that person. So we started talking, the person told me uh, uh, that it was Muslim, she was Muslim, it was a lady, she was Muslim and everything and all of that. Really, I've heard of Muslim, I've heard of them. You have a religion Islam, no? Yeah? Yeah, I've heard of it. I have no intentions of becoming Muslim. And I said, I'm going to learn how to be a Christian, a good Christian, not Jehovah's Witness way, but how God wants me to be a Christian. So I began to study the Bible very, very uh, closely at night and, and many hours and in prayer. I read all of the New Testament. I thought I had it all lined up. Then I started on the Old Testament, Genesis, Deuteronomy, Exodus. When I got to the prophets, something happened. When I got to reading in the Bible about the prophets, all of a sudden, I wanted to rest my eyes and I started thinking about that person that told me about Islam, about being a Muslim, about a Quran, about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So I said, okay, I am open-minded now. I don't think like a Jehovah's Witness. I'm going to find out if these people are liars, if they are no good or whatever. I'm going to find out for myself. I started thinking 1.2 billion Muslims. Shaitan is good, but he's not that good. To deceive 1.2 billion people. So I'll look at this, this Quran and I'll see what it is. I started reading the Quran. I read it completely all the way through the first time. It was unbelievable. Everything started to fall in place. Everything made sense. I took the Quran and now I could say to my Bible, I know now it all works together. Now I understand. Because of the Quran, I was able to understand my Bible. Mm. And I say, oh, this is great. God is making me a good Christian. He's going to teach me through the Quran. Well, as I kept reading and kept reading, I kept reading the Quran more because it made more sense, it was easier, it was simpler. It appealed more to my heart, to my intellect, to my mind. Mm. And my Bible, as much as I know that at one time it was a holy wo uh, word of God, now in its polluted state, I started to put it down more. And I started to read the Quran. So now I say, okay, I have the Quran, now I have to meet these people. I have to go where they go. Where do they go? Where do they meet? Well, they meet in a place called a mosque, a masjid. Okay, well, I'm going to go see them at this masjid. I'm going to check them out, as they say. So, to make a long story short, which I never can do, I went to this, to this mosque. I found out where it was, Southern California. I went to the mosque and I had an upset stomach. It's like when you're wanting, you know you got to do something, but you don't want to do it, you know, you know. And so I wanted to, but I kind of had an uneasiness, oh, an upset stomach and everything. So I said, well, I'm going to drive around and see if I find a parking space. I drive around several times, no parking spaces around the, the masjid. Finally, I said, that's it. I'm going to go one more time. If I don't find a parking space, I'll go home. That was my excuse. As I was making the turn, Right in front of the mosque, a car pulled out. You are making it very hard for me. So I pull in, okay? Now I am more nervous because I am going to have to face these people. I'm going to have to go. I don't know nothing about Islam. I don't know nothing about Muslim, okay? I'm just going to go to this place. And our, our, our mosque there in Southern California uh, uh, Center, it gets filled up very big all, all of the time. It gets filled up so you have to go around and in the parking lot they put out some rugs and everything like that. So I'm nervous. I'm going to go for the first time. I walk up to the door. There is this big brother, Arab descent, big beard, standing like this. I walk up. He says, go around. 
Okay. I go around. I get to the other side. There's the brothers all beginning to bow and do their prayers. They're looking at me. I say, no, I'm not. I'm just, I'm just watching. You know, I'm just looking. Like when you shop. I'm just looking. Thank you. I'm just looking. Finally, it was all over. They finished the prayer and everything. They all started to go into the mosque and, and mingle. So I went into the mosque and I started to mingle. And these brothers all kept saying, Salaam Alaikum. Salaam Alaikum. Salaam Alaikum. I don't know what it means. I don't know what they're saying. But this is the way it happened. Finally, a brother took me. Had, uh, he saw I was kind of a little confused. He grabbed me by the hand and he took me and he says, uh, you're new, right? I said, well, yes, this is my first time. Come on, i show you around. Takes me everywhere. Takes me to the, to the men's room. Shows me the different places. This is where you do voodoo. Voodoo, what's that? It's not voodoo. No, it's voodoo. Okay, it's voodoo. How do you do this? And you wash before you pray and this and that and whatever. Very nice brother. His name is Omar. Allah sent him to me. Okay? Now, the plot thickens. Because I'm impressed. I like what I see. Now I go home. I'm very happy. Now I decide... I want to pray like them. I, they do prayer. When I was Christian, I just pray. Just kneel my head and I pray. But something appealed to me. When these people get down on their knees and start to bow and prostrate themselves before the Almighty God, the Creator of the universe. Now you see how the religion works. You see how our religion is so much simpler. How it's so beautiful. How it appeals to the intellect and mind. I do not feel embarrassed. It appealed to me. This made sense to me. This is the God, the creator of the universe. Shouldn't I bow down to him? Am I so arrogant? A little piece of clay? It all comes down to several things in the Quran and the Hadith. One of my favorite is I was looking through the surahs. And I hope you'll pardon me if I don't do my Arabic very well. It says, It hajja'a nasrullahi wal nasa. When you see the people come into God's religion in great crowds, rejoice, give praise to God. Hmm, wow. Jai. Wow, wow. I'm speechless, guys. Wow. <laughs> the way he started searching for, you know, researching on Quran, the way he was able to get connected to Islam. Like, the fact that he was able to, you know, read the Bible, then try to read the Quran and notice some, you know, the connection. And through the Quran, he was able to understand more about the Bible. Wow, that was really... <laughs> I'm short of words, like, wow. I, I'm finding it hard to believe, but I'm, I'm sure he's saying the whole truth. Wow, wow, what a journey, what a journey. The way it all started, the way he explained about Christianity, and him having this mindset that as a Jehovah Witness, you know, there's no way you can mingle with other religion, you know, there's a way Jehovah Witness people do their things and other Christian part of Christianity to do their things and oh my goodness hmm well I don't even know what to say I'm just really really surprised to hear this whole story thank you so much guys for watching don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more like share and comment I'll see you in the next one bye